Are you on the kale bandwagon yet? No? Well, if you're not, I have just the recipe for you. Today I'm making baked kale chips, and I'm using one bunch of curly kale. You can also use the flat kale. Either one works well, though this ruffly kale gets a really nice crisp texture. Take it off of its stems. You don't want the hard stems. You're gonna wanna bake this on two baking sheets so there's plenty of room for it to spread out. I use rimmed baking sheets, half on each sheet. It may not look like a lot, but you want it to get crisp and you don't want it to steam. Tear the leaves into pieces. Nothing too specific, just not the huge whole leaves, though I guess you could do that if you wanted to. That looks about relatively even. Wait till you see though, it is gonna shrink quite a bit. You'll be surprised how much room ends up on the trays. Drizzle with olive oil. You can use as little as two tablespoons or more. Use your judgment. <laughs> I can't tell you what to do. Season with salt. And then toss to make sure that all your leaves are coated with the oil. It's not a low fat way of eating kale, but it is an extremely delicious way and olive oil is really good for you. So, so there. And it's so much better than a fried potato chip and it'll get people loving kale and then you can transition into sauteed kale and kale in soups and all kinds of amazing stuff. I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan to one of my trays. You can add cayenne pepper or smoked paprika, whatever you want really, just go crazy. You can add those here. And at the very end, I am gonna add some lemon zest after I take them out of the oven. Bake these at 350 degrees, rotating the trays once for about 15 to 16 minutes. Grate some lemon zest over the delicious chips. They're so crispy. And do you see how much they shrank? There's like so much room on the tray now. That's it, it's done. You hear that? And see, that was kale. And now it's a chip. <laughs> You're gonna to wanna to make like five trays because you're gonna eat just two trays standing here while you're waiting for them to cool. Ta-da! And you made it yourself at home. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you wanna subscribe and click over here if you wanna continue watching more great videos like this.